Hello everybody. Uh, I finally got my Hi-Fi One board from Sci-Fi. I have given the link below from where you can buy this board. So in this session, I'm gonna talk about this board. On the left side, I have the, the document from Sci-Fi, which talks about uh, the Getting Startup Guide. So if you scroll down, you can see the component section, yeah, to see what these uh, chipsets are about. So basically this uh, board has three major chipsets. So one is for connectivity, another one is the sci-fi core, and third one is the onboard debugger. So the connectivity chip is the expressive uh, for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And uh, the RISC-V core is here, and the uh, onboard debugger is here, which converts the USB to JTAG and serial. So the most interesting thing for me is the availability of the onboard debugger. So this, uh, so I don't have to buy an external uh, debugger. But there's also a provision on the board to connect an uh, external JTAG debugger through the JTAG port. Uh, but uh, for me, this is uh, good enough for now. I think there might be some limitation on this onboard debugger. So other than that, uh, there's uh, four megabytes or 32 megabits of uh, external SPA flash, which is connected to the uh, core, I guess. Then there are two reset buttons for, uh, sorry, uh, push buttons for reset and wake, and uh, two power LEDs, okay. So two things uh, which I want to point out on from this document are, so f first is how this onboard debugger is connected, okay. So this is a host, uh, computer and uh, the USB is connected to the onboard debugger. The uh, uh, the onboard debugger uh, provides two serial ports, one to the uh, RISC-V core, another one to the uh, connect connectivity chip, which is expressive. I think this you want one the serial port may be used to configure this uh, connectivity chip. I'm not sure about that though. And you can add this UART zeros for the console for the uh, sci-fi core. And if you use an external uh, JTAG probe, then you would bypass this and you would access the core directly through this. Okay, and the second one which I want to point out is the software for the JLink onboard debugger. So if you use the ESDK dev environment, which, which is the case for me most of the time, then for programming and debugging, I need a JLink uh, onboard software to be installed separately on my host machine. But if you, you use the Freedom Studio, then it I think it comes with a, a bundle. Okay, so these are the two things I want to point out. So now, uh, since I have the board, the uh, future sessions, I can run the run my code and any development, I can do it on the abort. Thank you.